Hi, I'm long distance backpacker, author, and speaker Liz Snorkel Thomas. I'm here with the North Country Trail Association to help you pack right for a backpacking trip. Taking up backpacking has some obstacles, but as a gear writer and editor, I've spent a lot of time thinking about how to make the outdoors easier for everyone to access and enjoy. One thing I love about the North Country Trail is that it runs from North Dakota to Vermont, nearly 5,000 miles, and is your backyard trail. Go to northcountrytrail.org to find where it's closest to you and head on your own adventure. For me, backpacking has been a gateway to understanding and appreciating the natural world. I want to share that experience of backpacking with you, no matter where you are and the length of your trip. The first items you'll need for backpacking are your big four. Your backpack, your tent, your sleeping pad, and your sleeping bag. I recommend that with these items you choose to borrow or rent before you buy. Don't forget accessories like your tent stakes or your backpack liner or cover. If you have access to a backyard, I recommend practicing setting up your tent at home and practice packing your backpack with everything you needed inside before you set off on a long trip. Then you can add, remove, or replace items accordingly. It's really easy when you're backpacking to overpack clothes, but when you think about what to wear backpacking, it shouldn't be too different from a day hike. Many backpackers wear the same shirt day in, day out while backpacking, so if you feel comfortable doing that, you may not need so much extra clothing. What you will need when you're backpacking though, sunglasses, a beanie or warm hat, your sun hat, hiking shorts, pants, or hiking skirt made from a synthetic or wool material, not cotton, which tends to take a long time to dry and can make you feel colder. Underwear, you'll want shoes or boots, usually the same that you use for hiking will work for backpacking as well. Socks, I usually recommend not cotton to prevent blisters. These are made from merino wool. And your watch, this will help you when you reach landmarks or intersections and it'll also help you get into camp before dark. And of course, you're gonna need a down or synthetic layer or fleece jacket when it gets cold, and also your rain jacket. The only clothes that may be different on a backpacking trip than at most day hikes are your sleeping top or bottom. Most people find that a light long underwear works for your sleeping pajamas, and some extra underwear. The next category for backpacking gear is your stove, your cooking, and your water. You'll need a pot, eating utensils, your stove and fuel, and there's a lot of varieties with stoves, but no matter which one you choose, be sure to practice at home. Of course, you're gonna need some water storage. Nalgene bottles are nice and durable, but they're heavier and bulkier compared to plain old plastic bottles or water bags. Always carry more water capacity than you think you'll need. Even if they ride empty most of the time, you'll be happy you did that. Of course, don't forget your water filter or chemicals. Here's my water filter that's riding in line along with my water bag. And of course, remember your trash bag for any sort of food waste that you might have at the end of the trip. Don't forget your first aid kit. This can be store-bought or you can make your own and just put it in a Ziploc bag. What it should include though is some sort of blister care, an anti-chafe, an anti-diarrheal, pain meds, headache meds, allergy meds, anti-itch cream, a wound cleaner, iodine, a single use should be fine, wound care, triple antibiotic, and just like on a day hike, you're want, going to want to carry your map, your compass, or guidebook descriptions, a headlamp to use in camp. You may want to consider an emergency beacon or satellite transmitter, which will allow you to two-way text, a knife, some sort of way to start a fire, either matches or a lighter. For a backpacking trip, it's also handy to have a way to repair broken gear, as this can be a real challenge when you're out for a few days duct tape, repair patches and adhesives, and a needle and thread can work in a pinch. Lastly, don't forget your hygiene items. These include sunscreen, bug spray, both of these are really useful in a day hike as well, a toothbrush and your toothpaste, and lastly, but not least, your potty trowel. Well, be sure to watch a Leave No Trace video to see how to use this before you go. And you'll also want some hand sanitizer to wash yourself after a potty break and before you eat. Now, maps and a compass are very important. Visit northcountrytrail.org for printable section maps of the North Country Trail, direct links to Avenza maps for smartphones, or GIS data sets for your GPS device. 
be sure to let a family or friend know where you're gonna be when you go on a backpacking trip and when you expect to be back. And that's everything you need for backpacking. My last bit of advice is if you have access to a backyard or a park, practice setting up and packing and unpacking your backpack before you go. Consider a mock overnighter, an idea I coined to mean a day hike where you carry all your backpacking gear, hike it in, set it up a few miles from your car, take a nap in your tent, and head home. If you have any problems, you aren't far from your car. But you still get all the practice and comfort that comes with setting up in the wild. Lastly, take advantage of walk-in campsites, shelters, and hut systems. These often have flat established campsites and other people around who can help you. This is Liz Thomas for the North Country Trail Association. Thanks again for tuning in and happy hiking.